Hi, I'm Cheryl Leach. In the problem we're going to work on right now, we're going to be talking about finding the points on a graph where the tangent is horizontal. Let's start out with the function y equals x to the fourth minus 2x squared plus 3. So we want to find out where the tangent lines are horizontal. Well, what happens when you have a tangent line that's horizontal? Well, let's take a look for a minute at a horizontal line. Any horizontal line at all. What do we know about the slope of this line? Well, if I start at any point on the line and I want to get to another point, vertically, I don't move at all. Horizontally, I can move any distance that I want. One, two, three, I can even move backwards. Okay? When you calculate the slope of this line, the change in the vertical motion is zero, and the change in the horizontal motion will be some fixed number. Well, zero over any non-zero number is zero. So basically what we're being asked to do in this problem is find out when is the slope of the tangent line equal to zero. Well, to find the slope of the tangent line, we need the derivative. So dy dx equals 4x to the third minus 4x plus zero. So when does this equal zero? Well, I'm going to take the derivative and set it equal to zero. I now have a polynomial of degree three in which to solve. So you have to recall some of your algebra skills to do this. What I want to do is to factor this right-hand side as much as I can. Zero equals, I'll pull out a four and an x to start out. Well, then I notice that x squared minus one can also be factored. and it will be factored into the quantity x minus 1 times the quantity x plus 1, because it's a difference of squares. Well, I'm looking at that right-hand side, and I realize it's completely factored at this point. And what do I have? Well, I have three different factors multiplied together that equal 0. Well, when you multiply numbers together and the answer is 0, there's only one way that can happen, and that's if one of these pieces is equal to 0. Think about it, 2 times 3 is 6, 1 half times 2 is 1, 0 times 7 is 0, negative 8 times 0 is 0. Whenever you multiply anything by 0, the result is 0. So we're going to take each of these pieces and set it equal to 0. So let's bring this over here. So 4x could be equal to 0, x minus 1 could be equal to 0, or x plus 1 can equal 0. Any of these will lead to the result that I want. So I now have three smaller equations to solve. If 4x equals 0, x must be 0. If x minus 1 is 0, x must equal 1. And if x plus 1 is 0, x must equal negative 1. So these are all the locations where the derivative will be zero, or in other words, the slope of the tangent line will be zero, or we'll have a horizontal tangent. Now, the question did ask for the point, so I probably should give you the ordered pair. All you need to do to find the ordered pair is plug each of these individual points into the original problem. So at x equals zero, y is going to be zero to the fourth, minus 2 times 0 squared plus 3, which is 3. At x equals 1, y will be 1 to the fourth minus 2 times 1 squared plus 3. That's going to give us 2. And at x equals negative 1, y will be negative 1 to the fourth minus 2 times negative 1 squared plus 3, which also gives us 2. So the points where the tangent is horizontal will be the point 0, 3, 1, 2, and negative 1, 2. I hope this helped. Thanks.